Good evening. Welcome to the East Long Meadow Charter Commission's February 25th, 2016 meeting. First, I'd like to open with roll call, and we can start over here. Eric Madison. Bill Fonseca. Larry Levine. Dawn Starks. Ray Miller. Russell Denver. Ralph Page. Thank you. And if anyone is recording this meeting electronically, please state your name. Thank you. And we're also on LCAP. So we should have a light schedule today. Motion to adjourn. <laughs> <laughs> as we know, a lot of this is review, and I'll catch you up to things as well. Uh, Ralph has done a fantastic job here, here. Yes. on making our flyer. He's gotten a lot of suggestions for edits. I am assuming most have been done. There's a couple more tweaks to be done, correct? Um, everything that was submitted to me has been incorporated into it as best I can. Um, I know, Larry, you had a question on a bullet point. Um, when I put in public council meetings. Instead um, of town. Yeah, what I, I changed it to um, public town council meetings. And the reason I put in the public was because obviously executive session can't be included. So I didn't want to just broadly say that you can speak at all town council meetings. Um, I would assume the public would know that executive session they can't go into and they can't talk, but... Well, you just said a key word. Yeah. yeah. Can't assume anything. Yeah. Mm. Didn't we... Uh, see, I, I when I, I saw that comment, I thought, and I didn't go back and look in the charter, but didn't we include within the charter that any elected board meetings as well as any appointed board meetings that the residents would have a right to be heard or was it only the council meetings that we did it and council. Council. council i know we did it specifically in that section with yeah. the council but i thought there was another i'll have to look well, I it was council was and it was there was sub any sub council and regular or subcommittee meetings yeah open to the public the public can speak yeah. okay i think that's the way it reads um, Do you want to change to any public meetings? No, because it might no. not be accurate. It'll leave it the okay. way it is. It's yeah. good. Yeah. Okay. It's, fine. Um, it's not incorrect the way it is. We did, um, in the front, I was asked to add in um, to, to, to the, the removal of town meeting as um, the legislative portion of it, so I added that in. Um, and like I said, there was a few other changes Don. i know you asked for one just to basically highlight an area so i yeah, changed the color of the font down there and i right, highlighted the proposed it charter. Right. Yeah. because as she pointed out um what is it noting that these are all covered under the charter was not actually a public hearing comment so i actually broke that out and i put it underneath um, just trying to be as accurate as we possibly can with it. And I know, Larry, one of your comments was similar to some of my thoughts regarding on that first um, paragraph, and I don't know if it could squinch in there, um, regarding that right now we operate under state gen mass general law and bylaws. It's kind of a mishmash. I don't know. How everyone feels about that, but I I, I would think it. that someone would say we have no charter. Well, what, what do, do we, we have? have? Just operate ad hoc. I, I'm again. I mean, I'm willing to put anything in. I didn't think I, we can continue to go and add. No, and add no, no, and no, add no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah I don't know. That the, the point is how what what documents do guide our business now I think the point is that we don't have a charter that guides our yeah. right. business and I think that's the only point we need to make yeah well okay. and in the letter that goes in the front of the charter to the citizens we clearly spell out what right we mm -hmm. operate right. under what yeah. we operate yeah. so um, okay. shorthand I guess is good okay. um, now Ralph has done his due diligence not only has he done this but he's been running around getting quotes and as we know last week we had come upon a part of the uh, chapter 43b I forget which section but states that within 30 days 
of submission to the town, which was on March, uh, excuse me, February 2nd. We need to have a clear accounting of our books and turn back money. After uh, consulting with our consultant, Marilyn, the infamous Marilyn, said, what you can do is you can write a report of your costs and your estimated because they will be we will have a good handle on how much this will cost mm -hmm. um, and Ralph will review some of that right after I'm done with this and perhaps put in a little bit of a cushion there which should not be very much we've been very frugal and wise with our money and then so that could be done so that for public inspection which Really, we do have public inspection now, right. uh, but I'll write it up so that it could be a little easier to discern for the public if they want to look at it, and then the rest gets turned back to the town. Um, and we can amend that report. The key would be we have a report, and we could amend it if we get, say, a $100 postage fee from within the town or something. Um, I don't think we'll hit any road bumps that way, or speed bumps. And I'll turn it over to you to talk about your quote I actually, finding. I actually went out and um, got three different quotes on it. One was from Staples, one was from Co-op Printing here in town, and the other one was from Tiger Press. Um, and what's far, the lowest? Uh, Co-op Printing. Um, they gave me a quote of 995 for the printing and the folding of it. And then um, I went back to them today and I said, well, I said, can you incorporate the mailing list onto it and then signia and everything? And they said that we were probably looking another six or 700 for all the posting and printing it up. So we're probably looking about 1700 completely done. Without postage. That's with postage. With postage. And mailed. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's um, pretty bad. I talked to them as far as the rate for postage and they are the nonprofit bulk rate, which is the same as what the town gets. So I figured with that, instead of juggling it, just let them do the yeah. whole thing. Yeah, um, one-stop shopping. Staples um, with mailing and everything to keep it the same was about 2,400. And Tiger Press had come in at 1,800 plus the mailing. So um, co-op was by far. Yeah the most reasonable and uh, they basically said that they can do the whole thing for us. How long would it take to do the job? Co-op was the shortest. Um, they basically said they can have a week's turnaround. Okay. That's good because I like seeing the money stay in, in town. And in town yeah. yeah, absolutely. I mean, Tiger Press is basically here on Benton Road. Co-op right. is on Baldwin. Yeah, I went to East Long Meadows Staples. That doesn't mean it stays here, but <laughs> right. uh, but I did. I, I figured with due diligence, I would do the three, and I was surprised because I thought the price we got from Staples was very good for you know what we were asking, and then just to go through and see that the so other ones were even that's better. Full color. Yes. Wow, it's a good price. It's good. Full it's good color, price. folded to eight and a half by um, five and a half by eight and a half tabs put on it, stamped, and they bring it to the bulk mail center. So I don't have to do anything other than send them the file. Mm. Excellent. So um, moved. <laughs> second. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Do we need an exact dollar amount? I, I don't have to the penny because yeah. we had asked about maybe printing up a couple hundred extra to have in town hall, yeah. which isn't going to receive postage. Um, well, and at some of our public forums, or yeah. if mm -hmm. we go to any uh, yeah, we'll coffee need hours. Yeah, we'll definitely right? need extras. Yeah. Well, how about if we do it, uh, do it this way? In order to fund the previous motion, I would then make a motion that we authorize the chair to expend not to exceed two thousand mm -hmm. dollars to fund that. Mm -hmm. And that way there's a little wiggle room if something comes up. Yep. That, that's, yep. Second. Discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? None. Motion passes. 
What about postcard? Looked into the postcard. We're looking roughly the same amount of money if we do one. Um, wow. Yeah, the, the five and a half by eight and a half, because it's a larger postcard, falls under the same exact uh, pricing. Mm -hmm. And that Maybe might not be more. worth it. Yeah, I think that's a lot. I think it's a lot, too. Excellent job. Thank you. Can we, um, I've got some. I would love to see them all. <laughs> yeah, we'll go. I was waiting. I was hoping. <laughs> do you want to go through them now, or do you want? How about just kind of a private thing between okay. you I can two do that and afterwards. And, and we'll have. Down and we'll go through if everything. we can yeah, have um, your eagle eyes, usually. Um, so one, two sets of eyes. Anyone else want to be a final set of eyes? Eric, I, I looked over what. Yeah. He yeah. had so. I mean, so I, I'm, I'm pretty happy yeah. with what he's what he's got. Um, I, I mean, I'm sure Ray has yeah. some punctuation and. Yeah. Well, he is uh, our grand type yeah. stuff. Yeah. 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 Was there anything of yeah. substantive change, Ray, um, or just just punctuation only, and grammar? Most of it's uh, just uh, grammar, but um, I did have one uh, one suggestion um, on the. Um, on the first page under the, the section charter commission recommends the uh, town manager and town council the uh, second sentence it's the fifth line down that begins the commission chose I was going to suggest that uh, town council will choose a town manager based on the on his or her mm -hmm. educational mm -hmm. and municipal management background period um, it's more clear. Yeah, because it, it, I mean, we're not choosing, we chose that form of government, but we're not choosing the town manager. I guess that's where I was a yeah. little, right. yeah. 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 I was just, a, uh, I thought it might be a little. Uh, you can go right, right on there if you want. Okay. Um, then what I, on that next sentence, um, uh, just saying uh, the town council will also have oversight over the town manager holding him accountable uh, rather than have oversight of uh, but that's just that's style. just me as opposed yeah, to style, yeah. style. Yeah. Yeah. on that next paragraph I was going to suggest um, changing the order of those two sentences so that the first sentence would be and I uh, the Commission listened mm -hmm. to you the word to you during the public hearings and you requested a government which was more responsive with a centralized and streamlined approach to handling town issues and then the next sentence would be the Charter Commission is presenting to the town a charter which the Commission believes will streamline and centralize town government um, I just yeah. felt like the the order was be a little bit better you know we listened to you and then we came yeah. up with a proposal mm -hmm. but but again, you know, whatever, uh, I mean, it's not. No, it, it's, a, you know, it's, it's a not flow. a big. Yeah. Any the rest of the stuff is, is the rest of them are not uh, more grammatical. Okay. Very good. And I'm sure Thank there you. were quite a few. <laughs> <laughs> the more I read it, my eyes just got blurry, oh, yeah. and I'm like, well, okay, okay. I'm shutting down yes. here. <laughs> no, you did, you did a nice job on, on this, uh, you know, putting it all together. To Thank you. Yeah, very nice job. Uh, Ray is going to touch base with Don Mackey in regards to LCAP. Um, I know here it is in the. Whoa. Yeah, I'll let you do your song and dance now, yours and Bill's. Well, you've all what, seen. Right. Like, what you, is the date? Oh, the date? When, when, Wednesday, when? April 6, 2016. Bill Fonseca and Larry Levine at 11 a.m. will mm -hmm. give a presentation on the proposed charter here at the East Longmeadow Council on Aging. Very good. I also confirmed on March 31st at 7 p.m. and April 7th at 7 p.m. we have the auditorium here and we will do a public forum then. Give me those dates again, okay. please. Where are those dates? Sure. March 31st, and a week later, April 7th, 7 p.m. It's 
7 p.m. 7 both p.m. Times. both days. <coughs> yes, correct. Here. Here in the auditorium. Okay. And that's going to be more uh, question and answer. It's, it's informational, educational. It is not a public hearing. That's yeah, we should do a, about a 15-minute quick overview. Quick overview. Yes. Yeah. Yes. yeah. I would agree. Yeah. The bullet points. The bullet are, points off the PowerPoint, maybe. Right. Mm -hmm. I will try to go through that and make a smaller PowerPoint for you. Um, I just, I'm, I, I don't know. Well, I'll give it a shot. I'm pressed for time. That's all. Yeah, good. because we, we even maybe have this weekend I get um, some things mm -hmm. that we can just take that are already bulletized, and maybe we could just move that, the main tenants, because it, yeah, just, we don't want to uh, I'm not going to reinvent the wheel. I, I would cut and paste from some yep. of the yeah. slides that you're, what you're talking about that would give you a yeah. quick main overview. Right. Of, yeah. yeah. How are we going to advertise this? Because it's not a public hearing. It is not. So you got to be, got to be explicit. You can do a robocall for this. Yeah, but I'd like to see more than just more, a little bit more than that. Well, if there's a way we can get it in the reminder. We can try. Yeah, I know. We, we can I try. Know. We might be successful next week, but our little blurb about um, I did submit it to the reminder and asked that it either be put in as letters to the editor or as a notice that we will do a traveling show to anybody local groups. Yeah. Can we'll you go see. in the Council on Aging um, newsletter? Because it'll, it'll be one that'll come out in about this time. It'll be the April edition, but it'll come out the end of uh, March. Uh, you could put those two dates in there. Yeah. I don't know how many people would, you know, read it, but it goes to all the households. Mm -hmm. Okay. So there's senior news. We can put in. We could do uh, robocalls. Elcat. Pardon? Elcat. Elcat. Yes. Rotating calendar. And as you think of any place. Contact we, me. We can ask the town to, <coughs> excuse me, post it on their website. Yeah. Do you think we could have a sign at the um, at the elections? You have to be within 150 feet of the entrance, but we can. We can have a sign. So outside, down the street. <laughs> <laughs> well, no. Well, no, you're, you're just saying a sign of, uh, of a public forum on the, the proposed charter to be held on these dates. Mm -hmm. Is that what you mean? Yeah. So as people go into vote, they'll go, oh, maybe, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good. Right, all it is is notice. Right. Maybe the public works could set that up for okay. us. And I'll check with Tom and make sure that's all square. Well, the signs are out there. All i got to do is change the placards. That's what I mean. Yeah. yeah. If there's any other ideas, forward them to me. So, have we covered, you feel, the educational programs? The only thing I'd like to add, Eric, when you do up the shortened PowerPoint, um, you got a slide in there which showed current form of government with the different blocks yeah. and new. I'd love to see that in there. I thought that really hit yeah. home yeah. on it. Yeah. Yep. Mm. Visual, it worked mm -hmm. really good. Yeah. Mm. And I'm thinking a no more than 10 slide presentation. Yeah. yeah. So we have very all got mine. Right to quick the and quick and easy. meat yeah. of it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And then yeah, we, can field, we can field the yeah. questions for as long right. as we need to. Anything else? Update on town distribution of charter. I did get word today that our town clerk will be handling that. He has already begun uh, the quest for putting things out to bid for the printing and distribution, and he has a rough timeline of it. So he had spent most of the days testing voting machines today, so I will get the update on that. But um, he plans on really attacking it, I believe, after the preliminary uh, election. However, he is already laying groundwork out to get quotes. Mm -hmm. So that's where that is. We're to minutes already. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.
Yes. I'm okay. I'll make a motion to accept. Second. Any discussion? Oh, wait a minute. I can't make the motion. I wasn't here. Oh. No, I'll make a motion to accept. I'll still second. <laughs> <laughs> Discussion. Uh, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Nice job, March, as usual. Thank you. Any other business? Has our letter been sent to the elected boards? That was sent at 1:30 uh, last Friday via email to all the chairs of elected boards, uh, except for one chair who did not have an email address, and I mailed that out. So they are in receipt of it. And I will say the planning board chairman did receive it. <laughs> and he has shared it. Okay. Good. Thank you. Good. Any feedback? None. No. Not yet. Uh, I am in complete uh, agreement. <laughs> there no feedback. Feedback. There's a feedback. <laughs> <laughs> Biased feedback. We were concerned. <laughs> Move Anything to adjourn? Else? Move to adjourn. Second. Oh, oh wait, wait, are we meeting next week? Uh, or? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Before I send an email out going, did I, did I no, miss something? I, I don't know that we need to meet next week. I think we could take a week off. A week off and then uh, reconvene. Thank Reassess. You. The yeah. chair appreciates it. No problem. <laughs> good. She's, uh, we'll be out of town. We'll have to race back. So it will be a good thing. So I move to adjourn. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Aye.